Uh, my name is Alicia Mobley, and I've been a surgical technologist for about four and a half years, and I currently work at Southwest Washington Medical Center. My specialty is in neuro or ortho type cases, but depending on the schedule, you know, I may be in a general room or an ENT room. We're starting to do some plastics here now. Typical days starts at about um, well, 6.30. I have to be, you know, ready in my scrubs by 7.00 and I check the schedule to see where I'm heading for the day. Go to that room, you know, set up the instruments, pick my supplies that are needed, open the room. Uh, so we open the instruments, open the back table pack. Anything we open then becomes sterile. Anything like the back table cover goes over the back table, then it becomes sterile. Anything inside that pack and anything inside the instrument pans is sterile. And then I go out and scrub. Basically, you start with your nails. Each side of your fingers gets cleaned, the tops of your hands, the palms, and then you kind of work your way up your arm to your elbow on each arm. I gown and glove myself, but then I need someone to tie up the back of my gown because that part is not sterile. The back of me is not sterile. Two, four, six. Count with the circulator, get everything ready. Four, five, six, seven. So at the beginning of the case, we count instruments, and at the end, we count again to make sure we still have everything that we started with. That's important. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> back table is all of my instruments that I might need. If you always set it up the same way, then you know where things are should you need them in a hurry. Then the surgeon comes in. Since I'm already uh, gowned and gloved myself, and I gown and glove the doctor, then the Mayo stand is what I bring up over the patient, and that's what I'm gonna be working off, the instruments that I know for sure will need first. And then I can grab more from the back table and bring it onto the Mayo stand. Uh, the other people in the room with me are the anesthesiologists, two surgeons, and a circulating nurse. We're, we all sort of form a team. The circulating nurse is in charge of the paperwork and charting for the patient, as well as getting extra supplies that we may need. And then of course the anesthesiologist is in charge of keeping the patient asleep. And then the surgeons and I are um, in charge of the sterile field and keeping things sterile. The sterile field is pretty much everything that is blue. <laughs> everything is, the sterile field is important for patient safety. We're trying to keep everything as clean and sterile as possible, including ourselves, our hands, anything that's going to be touching the patient during surgery. My main job is to pass instruments to the surgeon, and uh, we just we keep reusing those same instruments throughout the case. I would say the challenges for this job would be the standing in one place for a long period of time and also that you're right up there next to the surgeon so you can't have a queasy stomach. Yeah, you have to be able to see blood and not, not pass out. With closing this case, we usually, the surgeon will ask for the suture and it's usually anywhere from about three layers of different types of suture that we'll go through. Two, three, four, five. That's when we initiate the count, is when we're closing the first layer to make sure that we still have all the same instruments and all the same soft goods is what we call them, the lap sponges, the Raytex, the suture, the knife blades, bovie tips. Once the procedure is done, then my job is to collect the drapes, put them in the trash, uh, start packing back up the instruments into the trays, to put those in the case cart, and send it to Deacon Tam. Um, I can also help move the patient. 
in between the cases. And I grab my next case cart um, and start, you know, gathering my next supplies for that particular case. Set up the back table, or you know, open the packs, open the instruments. So when it's just me and the doctor, then I kind of have to take on two roles. I have to assist him with the retractors and also pass the instruments. I like working with the surgeons and the people in the room as a team. We have a lot of great doctors and great nurses that I work with. Knowing that you did all that you could to help facilitate the surgeon and and in turn, you help a patient and keep that patient safe. So that's definitely a good feeling at the end of the day. I think it's a great job.